Hello today's video we have the following content. Comparing the looks of male protagonists in Korean dramas in the early days, Hyunbin is the schoolboy, Bai Yongjun is bookish, and Kwon Sangwoo is the best at crying. Although plastic surgery is a common thing in South Korea, Koreans still prefer natural beauties to those created by plastic surgery. For example, Lin Sana, who has been the most beautiful face for several years in a row, is not highly praised by Koreans for her beauty. Kim Hee-sun and Kim Tae-hee, whom Koreans really like and recognize as the number one beauties, are all natural beauties. Korean audiences hold their status very high. Here I would like to explain that Kim Hee-sun was simply harmed by the translator back then, which led many Chinese people to think that she was a plastic surgery beauty. At that time, the Korean media praised Kim Hee-sun as the most beautiful woman who could not even undergo plastic surgery. However, when translated into China, she became the most beautiful woman who had plastic surgery. In fact, there are photos of Kim Hee-sun from childhood to adulthood. Her face has not been touched at all, she is just natural. Great beauty. Compared with Korean actresses who often undergo plastic surgery, not many Korean actors undergo plastic surgery, and most of them can become top actors in Korea. Almost all of them are natural handsome guys. Previous articles have introduced three handsome guys, Jang Dong Gun and Song Soon Hee and Won Bin. Today I will mainly talk about the other three handsome guys. Their facial features may not be as refined as Jang Dong Gun and Song Soon Hee and Won Bin, but they still have their own characteristics. The Korean dramas they performed back then also moved me. Countless girls and aunties. 1. Hyun Bin. Among the many actors in Korea, if I were asked to choose the Korean drama actor I admire the most, I would definitely choose Hyun Bin. Hyun Bin became a hit when he debuted, and all the actresses he worked with were Korean beauties. In the end, he even married the Korean fairy son Yi Jin as his wife. His smooth life is really enviable. Hyun Bin, whose real name is Kim Tae Pyeong, was born in Seoul, South Korea in 1982. His family conditions are quite favorable, his parents are elite intellectuals, and he has an eldest brother who loves him very much. It can be said that Hyun Bin is a child born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Not only does Hyun Bin have a good family background, he is also very handsome. He has been known as a handsome boy since he was a child. When he was still in high school, he was recognized as the school idol and received countless love letters. Even before entering the entertainment industry, Hyun Bin had a fan club. Back then, there were even girls from other schools who came from far away just to take a look at him. Hyun Bin's parents originally planned to let him take the civil service exam, but Hyun Bin fell in love with acting. In the end, despite his parents' objections, he was admitted to South Korea's Chongyang University to study acting, and officially entered the entertainment industry in 2001. In 2003, Hyun Bin starred in his first TV series Bodyguard. Although he was just a newcomer at the time, his handsome appearance allowed him to steal the limelight from the male Lee Cha Soon Won. In the following year, Hyun Bin successively starred in film and television dramas such as Ireland, Roundhouse, and Daddy Long Legs. Although he played mostly supporting roles, he was highly regarded by the industry and was even named the strongest of the year. The New King. In 2005, Hyun Bin ushered in his masterpiece My Name is Kim Sam Soon, which was also the first work that domestic audiences got to know Hyun Bin. In this drama, Hyun Bin was only 23 years old at the time, but he vividly performed the stubbornness and affection of the male protagonist, making Hyun Bin become the male god of Korean dramas and a veritable first-line actor in South Korea. In the TV series starring Hyun Bin, except for the heroine in My Name is Kim Sam Soon who was average looking, the heroines in other TV series are all beauties. She worked with Song Yuri in Snow Queen, with Song Haikyuu in The World They Live In, and with Haji Won in Secret Garden. All three dramas were well received in box office hits. Although Hyun Bin is a top handsome guy, he has only had three relationships since entering the entertainment industry. He dated Song Haikyuu for two years, and dated Kang Sora for one year. He and Sun Yijin became successful because of their cooperation in Crash Landing on You. My girlfriends are all divine and beautiful. Today, Hyun Bin is called one of the four great fortunes in South Korea by the Korean media. He is very proud of his love and career. He can be said to be a real winner in life. 2. Bai Yongjun. Among the many male actors in Korean dramas, Bai Yongjun cannot be ranked at the top simply in terms of facial features and figure. The most attractive thing about Bai Yongjun is his bookish temperament, especially after wearing glasses, his ascetic elite temperament becomes even more charming, so he is called the master killer. 
Bai Yongjin was born in Seoul in 1972. At first, he did not want to be an actor, but wanted to be a director, but he failed every time. Finally, at the suggestion of a friend, he participated in the KBS TV actor audition in 1994. With his fresh temperament, he made his debut as the male protagonist of the youth drama Greetings from Love. Back then, KBS TV station was very fond of Bai Yong Joon, and the actresses he worked with were all top-notch actresses, including actress Jeon Doo Yeon in Sunshine Meadow and Lee Young Ae in Story of Lovers. Bai Yong Joon himself is also very impressive. In both dramas, he did not look like a newcomer at all and won many awards. In 1996, Bai Yong Joon ushered in his first hit Korean drama First Love. This drama was the Korean ratings champion that year, and set a new record for the highest ratings in Korea until 2014. The record was not broken until 2014. Although Bai Yong Joon is the second male lead, his acting and performance are better than those of the first male lead, and he was merciless when he won the award. The 2001 TV series Love Hotel established Bai Yong Joon's image as a gentle and handsome man. This drama is also very interesting. Bai Yong Joon was originally the second male lead, but it was so popular when it was aired that the screenwriter finally made him the first male lead. In the drama back then, Bai Yong Joon wore a formal suit and glasses, and he and the heroine Song Yuna were really good looking and talented. This was the first time a domineering CEO fell in love with me. The Korean drama that really made Bai Yong Joon famous throughout Asia was the 2002 Korean drama Winter Sonata. This drama was not only a hit in South Korea, but also became a household name in Japan. It made Bai Yong Joon the favorite of Japanese housewives at that time, and his photo album was sold out in Japan. Although the audience loves Bai Yong Joon's image of a gentle and handsome man, Bai Yong Joon himself wanted to break through the constraints of this idol drama, so he took over the filming of the large-scale movie Scandal in 2003. In the drama, he took off his glasses and starred in a large-scale scene with Jian Du Yian. It once made many Korean teachers sad. In 2005, Bai Yong Joon and Sun Yi Jin starred in the large-scale movie Out. The movie ended up with mediocre reviews at the box office. After starring in Out, Bai Yong Joon took on fewer and fewer film and television dramas, and in the end he simply retreated behind the scenes to start a company and become the boss. In 2015, Bai Yong Joon married Park Soo Jin, a member of a Korean girl group who was 13 years younger than him. At that time, Many fans were disappointed with Bai Yongjin and felt that he had found an ordinary-looking wife. But Bai Yongjin, who has become a capital, quickly gave birth to a son and a daughter, regardless of the fans' opinions, and successfully became a father. Although today's Bai Yongjin has long lost his good looks, his unique elegance and bookishness are still there. It must be said that time is really a butcher's knife. 3. Kwon Sang Woo All male protagonists in Korean dramas are very good at crying. But if I were to judge an actor who is the best at crying, I would definitely recommend Kwon Sang Woo. His pair of peach blossom eyes combined with his superb crying scenes made countless girls cry while watching them. Kwon Sang Woo was born in Daejeon, South Korea in 1976. Unlike other Korean actors who are born with a silver spoon in their mouths, Kwon Sang Woo's family conditions were very poor. He lost his father when he was a child and followed his mother to work in various places to make money. He suffered a lot since he was a child. Perhaps because of God's mercy, Kwon Sang Woo, who was born in poverty, has a very handsome face. When he was looking for a job in Seoul at the age of 22, he was spotted by a talent scout, and Kwon Sang Woo became a model and officially entered the Korean entertainment industry. In 2001, Kwon Sang Woo starred in his first work Delicious Relationship. This Korean drama now seems to have a strong lineup, including Sun Yi Jin, Su Ji Sub. Kwon Sang Woo and other A-list big names. Although Kwon Sang Woo's acting skills at this time are very raw, his appearance is very capable, not inferior to So Ji Sub at all. In 2003, Kwon Sang Woo ushered in his masterpiece Stairway to Heaven, in which he played the role of the melancholy young man Cha Sung Joon. I really shed too many tears when I watched this drama, especially Kwon Sang Woo's crying scene in this drama. It's amazing. Every time he cries, it can stir up the emotions of the audience. In addition to Kwon Sang Woo and Choi Ji Woo, the actors in Stairway to Heaven also include South Korea's most beautiful Kim Tae Hee, but he hated her role so much that he completely ignored her beauty. Watching this drama again now, I find that Kim Tae Hee is really beautiful in her prime. After Stairway to Heaven, Kwon Sang Woo followed up the victory and collaborated with another Korean beauty, Kim Hee Sun, in said love song. Kwon Sang Woo's crying scenes in this drama are simply to the next level.
the ending where the male protagonist dies has earned countless tears. The movie The Cruel History of Mad Chu Street with Han Gaon in the movie A Story More Sad Than Sad with Li Bao Young made Quan Sang Wu the title of the Prince of Tragedy by the media, and gradually promoted Quan Sang Wu to become a first-line actor and Korea star. Just when his career was going smoothly, Quan Sang Wu suddenly announced his relationship with actress Sun Tae Young. You must know that actress Sun Tae Young has a bad reputation in Korea. She is a famous love story queen, and Korean mistresses hate her very much. But Kwon sang Wu defended Sun Tae Young very much, held a wedding with Sun Tae Young in 2008, and gave birth to his son in 2009. This behavior caused Kwon sang Wu's popularity in South Korea to decline rapidly, and his acting career also plummeted. After failing to develop in South Korea, Kwon sang Wu simply came to the mainland in 2012 to develop. He collaborated with Cecilia Chu in Shadow Lovers and Jackie Chan in the movie Zodiac, but the response was mediocre and far less popular than the previous Korean dramas. Full stop. Today's Kwon sang Wu, although his appearance and figure are still quite good, he can no longer produce a famous masterpiece. Just imagine if he hadn't fallen in love and got married to Sun Tae Young back then, his career would have been completely different now. Comparing Hyo and Bin, I have to say that it is too important for a man to marry the right wife. Conclusion, looking back at the male protagonists of previous Korean dramas, I have to say that there was a reason why Korean dramas were so popular back then. Not only are all of these male protagonists in Korean dramas beautiful, but the key thing is that they also have their own unique temperament and excellent acting skills. No wonder people are addicted to their roles. Comparing the male protagonists of today's Korean dramas, we really had a great time back then. Next news. Who do the male protagonists of Korean dramas marry? Jang Dong Gun's wife is rich, Hyun Bin's wife is beautiful, and Won Bin's wife is simple. For your better interactive reading experience and for you to see more content in time, click follow. We will update exciting stories and share different story moments with you every day. On the screen, the male protagonists of Korean dramas always compose beautiful love fairy tales with ordinary girls, but in reality, their choices have other mysteries. In the eyes of male stars from wealthy families, whether their partner has money and status is the key, while those from ordinary backgrounds seem to value inner qualities more. Jang Duong Gun's wife can be said to be rich and powerful, while Hai Bin's other half has both good looks and temperament, while Won Bin's partner seems simple and unpretentious. Jang Duong Gun, the prince of screen and the guardian of the perfect family. Since entering the Korean film and television industry in 1993, Jang Duong Gun has quickly become a bright star in the film and television industry in South Korea and even Asia with his handsome appearance and superb acting skills. During his acting career, he has created many popular male protagonists. Whether he is a youth idol or a mature and charming man, he has shown extraordinary acting charm. In 1997, Jang Duong Gun played the leading role for the first time in the TV series Dr. Brothers. His affectionate and complex role won wide recognition from the audience and won him the Best Actor Award at the NBC Drama Awards. Since then, he has continued to challenge himself and created a series of classic roles. In 2004, in the war film The Flying T. Juke Flag, he played the heroic and fearless Sergeant Squad leader Lee Jin Tae. With his outstanding performance, he won the Best Actor Award at the 25th Korean film Blue Dragon Awards. In 2005, he entered the Chinese film market cooperating with director Ching Kajin starring in the action film The Promise, playing the role of the slave Kunlun, showing his international acting skills. The characters that Jang Dong Gun portrays on the screen are often sunny, handsome, and affectionate. He has exquisite facial features, a three-dimensional face, typical thick eyebrows, big eyes and deep double eyelids. He is known as the most handsome man in Korea. In the play, he usually plays the role of a male protagonist with a noble background and good abilities, but he falls in love with Cinderella. This setting makes him a prince-like existence in the hearts of the audience. Just like Jan Dong Gun's image on screen, he is also a perfect good man in real life. His wife Gao Xiaoying is also a well-known Korean actress. The two met and fell in love because of their collaboration in the movie Love Wind and Love Song and eventually got married. They have a son and a daughter, a harmonious family, and are a model couple in the entertainment industry. In addition to his acting career, Zhang Duongjian is also actively involved in public welfare undertakings. He and his wife donated huge sums of money to help unwed mothers and newborns, showing their love and sense of responsibility. Zhang Duongun has created classic roles one after another on the screen with his superb acting skills and sunny and handsome image. In real life, 
He is also a good man full of love and responsibility, and he and his wife guard their perfect family together. His acting career is still going on, and I believe he will bring us more exciting works and roles in the future. Hyung Bin, charming male protagonist on screen and happy partner in real life. In the Korean entertainment industry, Hyung Bin's name has long been a household name. With many popular film and television works, he has successfully created many unforgettable male protagonist images. Not only his acting skills are highly praised, but his unique personality has also won the love of the audience. Since his official debut in 2003 through the TV dramas Bodyguard and Nonstop 4, Hyun Bin's acting career has been on a roll. His role as the male protagonist Hyun Jin Hyun in the 2005 TV series My Name is Kim Samsung won enthusiastic support from the audience with his affectionate eyes and delicate acting skills. The drama not only became the ratings champion of the year, but also made Hyun Bin famous in one fell swoop, becoming a leader among the new generation of Korean actors. Since then, Hyun Bin has continued to challenge himself and try different types of roles. In the 2010 TV series Secret Garden, he played the role of Kim Soo-won, the male protagonist with a cold personality but soft heart, and staged a romantic love affair with the heroine that transcended identity and status. Through his superb acting skills, Hyun Bin successfully created the image of a male protagonist who is both domineering and gentle, which fascinated the audience. The characters created by Hyun Bin on the screen are often full of affection and charm. He is good at showing the characters in a world through his eyes and subtle movements. In Hyde, Jekyll and Me, he plays two roles, and he perfectly interprets the two completely different characters of the gentle and enthusiastic Robin and the cold and inhumane Goosey Ojin. This kind of in-depth exploration and delicate presentation of the character has made Hyun Bin's acting skills highly praised. In real life, Hyun Bin is also a happy person. His relationship with Korean actress Sun Yi Jin has been attracting attention since it was exposed. The two met and fell in love because of their collaboration in the TV series Crash Landing on You, and got married in 2021. As a well-known actress in the Korean entertainment industry, Sun Yi Jin is not only beautiful in appearance, but also has outstanding acting skills and popularity. Her combination with Hyun Bin is known as the golden girl in the Korean entertainment industry. Their married life is also full of sweetness and happiness. They often attend various events together, showing the tacit understanding and sweetness of a loving couple. The happy life of Hyun Bin and Sun Yi Jin not only makes their fans happy, but also makes people full of expectations and yearning for love. One Bin, the perfect blend of screen hero and Loki life. In the Korean film and television industry, One Bin's name represents a unique charm. His acting skills are superb, his image is changeable, and the characters he creates are deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Today, let us step into One Bin's acting world and see how he interprets those unforgettable male protagonists, as well as his Loki and happiness in real life. One Bin's acting career began in 1995 in the TV series MR. Dinosaur. However, it was the 1999 TV series Blue Life and Death that really made him stand out. In this drama, he played the affectionate and persistent male lead Hart Asiok, and staged a poignant love story with Yoon Yoon Hee, played by Song Hye Kyo. Won Bin's outstanding performance allowed the audience to see that he's not only an idol actor, but also a capable actor. Since then, Won Bin's acting career has soared. He has performed wonderfully in movies such as The Flying Taejook Flag and My Brother. Especially the 2010 movie The Lonely Agent made him a leader in the Korean film industry. In this movie, he played the role of Cha Tae Sik, a taciturn and loner pawn shop owner. In order to rescue his only friend Ayomi, he broke into the gang's lair alone and launched a thrilling battle with criminals. Won Bin's performance in the film was textbook level. Whether it was action scenes or literary dramas, he handled them just right, which amazed the audience. The characters Won Bin portrays on screen are often full of tough guys and tender temperaments. He is good at showing the characters in a world through subtle expressions and movements, allowing the audience to deeply feel the characters' emotional changes. In The Lonely Agent, although his character Cha Tae Sik looks cold on the outside, he is full of love and protection for Zia Omi in his heart. This affectionate image moved the audience and made Won Bin's acting skills more widely recognized. Unlike the tough guy image on the screen, Won Bin is a low-key and happy person in real life. His wife is a simple and beautiful woman. The two have known each other since childhood and have supported each other all the way through the ups and downs of life together. Although their love story is not too spectacular, it is full of ordinary and real happiness. Won Bin is always full of gratitude and happiness when talking about his wife. 
he said that his wife is his strongest support and closest partner. In short, as an excellent actor and a happy husband, Won Bin has demonstrated excellent acting skills and charming personality on the screen, and lives a low-key and happy life in real life. His acting career and love story have become the focus of attention and hotly discussed topics. Actually, I think they all look the same. I wonder how much you know about the complexity of the entertainment industry? Welcome to leave your thoughts in the comment area below. If you like the article, please like and follow us. See you in the next issue. Warm reminder, this article is an original work by Tao Shao. It is prohibited to be moved to other platforms within 72 hours. The rights protection function of the entire network has been activated. Plagiarism and porters will be reported to the entire network. Thank you for your understanding.